Hello students, welcome once again and today we are looking at a simultaneous equation involving logarithm. So um, we have log s plus y being equal to 0, 2 log x equal to log y plus 1 and we have to find solve this simultaneous equation and find the value of x and y. We find the value of x and y. So with this first equation over here, we have log the log of x plus y being equal to zero now for logarithm one property is that if you want to get rid of the log the log over here it goes it is in base 10 so the base 10 then goes to raise the zero up so now you have s plus y being equal to 10 to the power zero right so we have s plus y equal to one so let's call this equation one all right now with the second equation over here we have um 2 log x equal to log y plus 1 now because it has log here log here i can group it as one side so by the 2 in front here goes to goes to the top here so we have log s squared equal to the log of y plus 1 now let's group like terms now so we have um we now have log x squared minus log y plus 1 equal to 0 so with this now since they are the log they have the same log to the base 10 to the base 10 and they are they are subtracting then we are we have to group them this way now since they are subtracting we divide them so y plus 1 equal to 0 okay now it is to base 10 so if we want to get rid of the log this 10 goes to raise it this up so we have s squared over y plus 1 equal to 10 to the power 0 and this is um, basically we have s squared being equal to y plus 1 all right so let's continue here so we have from here we have uh, because all of this is just one this is just one so we take this back to where it was then we have x squared plus y equal to one it is minus so i'm sending it here so it's minus so let's call this equation two now for me let's make um let's make um why the subject from here so from equation so let's say from equation 2 so from this equation we are making y the subject so making y the subject is just taking y this to this side and bringing one to this side so we have s squared when it comes to the negative one and let's call this equation 3 now what we are going to do is that we are going to put equation 3 into equation 1 now equation one we add equation one as x plus y equals one then so if we have this then we are substituting y into that then we have x plus x squared minus one equals one so we just substitute the value of y there all right so we have x plus x squared minus one this comes equal to zero so we have s squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation over here. Now solving this quadratic, we have to find two values. When we multiply, we get negative 2. When we add them, we should get positive 1. So we have 2 and 1. Now, where should we put the negative? The negative should be here. Because 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. 2 minus 1 is just positive 1. So we can use this. So we have s squared now this and that replace the x over here so we have positive 2x then we have negative x then your minus 2 equal to 0 so we can take this and that and that and that so x out then we have 2 here then we have negative out we can x plus 2 equal to 0 now from here we have um, this and that and that and that so we have x minus 1 then also x plus 2 being equal to 0 so we have x minus 1 equal to 0 then the value of x will be 1 then over here 
x plus 2 equal to 0 0 then the value of x will be negative 2 now we have this all right so let's continue so now we have two values of x now since the log of a negative number a negative number is undefined is undefined therefore x should be positive 1 so the value of s is positive 1 because the log of a negative number is undefined so the positive value of x is just 1 so we have 1 x being equal to 1 so then we put x equal to 1 into any of the equations so let's say equation 3 and we had equation 3 as y being equal to s squared minus 1 so from here we have y equal to 1 that is 1 squared minus 1 and just 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so therefore y is equal to 0 so finally we can conclude that therefore x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 yeah. thank you very much and i will see you in our section